there's two things I'm more passionate about than anything else. 3D printing, as you could probably have guessed, and robotics. But for a very long time, I haven't been able to combine these two because as you probably know, low-end 3D printers aren't really capable of 3D printing very strong materials in traditional plastics like PLA or ABS. However, a company called Polymaker is pushing the boundaries with a new material they've released called PC Max. So I got in touch with them and I thought, okay, what's a great way to test your new filament? Well, by 3D printing an off-road robotics platform. Let's see how it performs, shall we? So after seven days of non-stop rain, we found the perfect location with grass, dirt, obstacles, and plenty of puddles to really put the machine through its paces. The robot was designed in Fusion 360 and 3D printed exclusively using Polymaker filaments. The frame, struts, and motor mounts are all 3D printed in PC Max, with the wheels and electronic covers being printed in Polymax PLA, a strength modified PLA. Even the tires of the robot are 3D printed using Polyflex. It uses four cordless drill gear motors for tons of torque and runs BotBits 30 amp speed controllers and has room for enough lithium polymer batteries to run for over an hour if needed. The robot also has suspension using a prototype nylon filament from Polymaker allowing it to bounce over obstacles with ease. Angus is now going to try and navigate it over to the lawn on the other side. Oh, I guess I'm going to find out. That's annoy those birds. Bye bye little doodle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a puddle there. I no, didn't see that. Uh -oh. Gotta watch out for the puddle. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it dead? Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. I just went out of range. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Otherwise, it looks okay. So I am absolutely blown away guys by how well this material performed. So as I said before, the mounts, the struts and everything are printed in PC Max polycarbonate plastic and there is nothing wrong with it. I drove this off edges, I drove it through the dirt, I drove it through puddles and it's intact. So the only thing I would probably change is these little mounts that are a bit too floppy in that new nylon. but. I'll do some modifications to this platform and I'm going to make this whole robotics platform open source and online where you can download the STL files and print one yourself if you so choose. So a massive thanks to Polymaker for teaming up with me here in Makers Muse and helping me make this platform a reality. And if you haven't subscribed to Makers Muse and you're interested in 3D printing tips, tricks and reviews, maybe hit that subscribe button to see future content here. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Happy printing guys. Bye. and rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into orbit. He has actually walked in space.